What is going on my friends? Today is the day you've all been waiting for and that is this car is going to get a clean. It's not getting a polish just yet, but that will be coming in the near future. First, I'm gonna worry about the place where you spend 95% of your time. 5% of the time you're looking at it, 95% of the time you're driving it. So you wanna make sure that you're not sitting in someone else's uh, feces and juices. I've got Meticulous Hello. over here. So Meticulous is a good friend of mine. I've been friends since, I don't know, primary school. and he started up a business a few months ago, almost a year ago now. He's uh, offered his services to me. He is going to perform what's called a premium interior in his brochure. So basically, it depends on, on many different factors, like depends on how dirty the car is and stuff, but essentially the worst of the worst, he will steam clean, he will agitate services with um, a drill brush and whatnot. Before the video continues, I wanna remind you guys that from now until the 25th of December, Christmas day, I am running a promotion on the Pacon apparel website anything you buy i will double so if you buy one sticker you'll get two stickers if you buy four stickers you'll get eight stickers so please check out pagan apparel and support the channel so for those of you that are wondering matt will end up coming back and doing the exterior as well he's just going on holiday in like two days for a few weeks so i don't want to rush this process we're going to do the interior now and then when he comes back we're going to do the exterior and hopefully i can have some of the panels fixed up like the front bumper it's obviously seen better days the bonnet the fenders especially this one it's got clear appealing on it and stuff so i'm not going to worry about the body just yet but that will come that will be the biggest transformation to say that this car isn't completely disgusting on the inside as well. Matt and I found rat shit in the glove box which I've chucked out because I didn't want to be anywhere near it. And the worst part about that is that I've been driving this car for like three weeks now, daily driving it with rat shit in the glove box. Hopefully I haven't contracted a uh, gout or something, some 1930s disease. What the dog doing? So the first thing I do is I blow out the whole interior to get most of the larger debris before I start vacuuming. Ah! <laughs> that went on my ass. Yep. yep, so this car's gross. Okay, so now that Matt's done like with a normal vacuum, he's moved on to this um, rather alarming looking contraption. Would you like to explain what this is before um, I make presumptions? Yeah, so this is what we use um, to go above and beyond the normal vacuum that you can get. So basically, I have an air hose that goes in here and a vacuum hose. The vacuum still sucks through this area here, but as well as the vacuum, have cyclonic air that vibrates the carpets and allows all the stuff to come up. So it really gets further down the fibers of the carpet and makes it really clean. Mm -hmm. So like if you have really soft like Rolls Royce like carpet where sand can just get trapped in it, uh, that will just essentially vibrate it out and then the vacuum will suck it up before it manages to relocate itself. Normally sand would ca get caught in these little fibers but uh, with that thing that's, that's, not, that's not the case. So we're making pretty good progress. Basically, we've set the groundworks. Well, Matt set the groundworks. He's cleaned up all these jams nice, nicely. He's uh, done all the rubbers. He's even done the boot. I've just taken the drain holes, uh, the drain plugs out. So that's pretty convenient. Uh, so good job to Ford on that one. But right now, Matt is moving on to the stuff that I'm excited for because this is the water that's come, gonna come out of these seats is gonna be straight like Coke. What are we doing, Matt? I am doing um, the steam cleaning. So I'm gonna lay down two chemicals, kind of like an all-purpose upholstery chemical, and then a enzyme chemical, which takes care of odors, stains, and stuff like that. We're then going to go over and steam the, carp uh, steam the seats 
drill brush seats um, to get all the dirt nice and loose. And, and then after that, we're gonna start extracting with the water and the vacuum to make it pristine clean. Mint, I like the sound of that. So this car's not gonna smell like 30 years of uh, Bundy and Coke, stale cigarettes and farts. What Matt's doing now, he won't necessarily do on every car because every car is different. Some cars are dirtier than other cars, but this thing is like on the extreme side of the scale here. So he's using a steam cleaner, which normally he might not, he might not do on your car. But because this car is so dirty, he's doing it. And you can see the color change from here it's to here. It's instantly changing color. Even though all the dirt's still on there, it's obviously lifting it up, moving yeah. around. If you think your 30 year old car is clean and it's been looked after, think again. Because even the cleanest cars will come out like that. I'd like to think that's just dirt and grime, but that's probably, you know, things that I don't want to think about. Things that people have done in back seats, especially in Falcons. I'm glad Matt's here. best part about detailing it's so satisfying to watch especially on a dirty car like this like if it's just a relatively clean car like you won't get this sort of transformation but Matt is powering through this. All of the seats are done and they look incredible. There's no stains in them anymore. Before they were like brown blotches and white blotches and it looked like a horse's penis. <laughs> but all these stains uh, Matt is going to try and get out next. So this is Matt's doing on the passenger side. You could probably eat off this now. Obviously there are some bits where it's just like faded. Discolored as well. Yeah, discolored, stain. exactly. So there's no amount of steam or anything that will get that out. But there is hope. There's one more product I put on after all the cleaning's done. That's a peroxide treatment. So that removes odors and bacteria furthermore, but it also kind of whitens the carpet. So it'll actually make the carpets even brighter and brings back a bit of the color. too much steam to your tip because you might ruin it. A part of many of our interior details, we actually remove um, interior trim pieces and clean underneath the trim as well as the trim itself. Both surfaces can be dirty over a long period of time. Especially when you're having um you know, your boss coffees and slurpees and stuff and whatever else. Indeed. Whatever they had in the 90s. What do they have in the 90s? You're a 90s kid, Matt. What do they have? Just. Probably boss coffee, to be honest. You reckon they had boss coffee back then? No, I actually probably didn't have any canned coffee. It's probably Coca-Cola. It's your cool. Your cool. You cool, you reckon? Yep, they drank your cool in this car. It was probably actually Bundy and Coke, to be honest, in this car. <laughs> How much of it is? See all that? Yeah. That's like dirt, and then see that? That's like the steering wheel. Yeah. All, all this stuff in the holes is dirt. Yeah. And what's the white stuff? 
don't know. Is that more wide out, like on the door? Yeah, probably wide out. I reckon he could have been a painter. The original owner. So these cloths were completely yellow when Matt started on the steering wheel. This is just from the steering wheel of the car. The fact I was touching that and then eating my Maccas, drinking my coffee. Chips, exactly. That's not the type of sauce that I want on my chips. All right, this is just from the back seats. Oh no, this is just from the rear carpet, Mark. That's, that's gross. Matt doesn't have enough time to stick around and do the whole car, but that is coming in a future video. Matt's just going away on holiday for the next few weeks, so when he's back, he'll definitely do the whole car. But he's just gonna give us, well, give me a little bit of a teaser on what to expect on this car. So he's just gonna do the full length of the spoiler just on top of it, so we can know what to expect when he does the whole car. start off by thanking Matt heaps for doing the work on the EF. I've been driving the car around for about a week since he's done the work and it is a massive improvement inside. And uh, just looking at the spoiler, I am super, super keen to get the rest of the car polished. I don't know if you guys can see the difference on camera. I mean, obviously you can, but this is like a pink and this is proper red. So the whole car will look like this. And down the track, unfortunately, I don't have time to get the front bar and stuff painted before Matt arrives. He will do as best as he can on the front bar, the nose cone and, and whatnot. Eventually I will repaint it and he'll do a really good job, but the front bar will get cut up for the intercooler eventually. So I might do it when the front bar is off for the intercooler. Have a look at inside the car. It is way, way better than it used to be. You guys have seen a few clips ago um, how drastically Matt has improved the passenger seat. It was like brown and now it's blue. Uh, same with the back. Obviously, I do daily this car. It is a little bit dirtier than when we first did all the work, but thank you so much to Meticulous Auto Detailing and he will definitely be doing more work on this car very soon. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.